assess these things. Lots of specific stocks in focus, defense and, uh, you know, oil and gas stocks, as Sonal was pointing out. I think the uh, market open is up on your screen. Straight away, there was a tinge of green, now there's a tinge of red, uh, but it's not very much at all. I mean, I think this is a very slow start, but uh, 35 points lower is what you have in the Nifty. The Nifty Bank is down about a quarter percent, it's down 100 points. And uh, what else? Mid-cap index is up about... Mid-cap index is up. It was down about one and a half yesterday. And I think the small-cap index is starting slightly higher as well. So it's a flattish to slightly lower start. But Sonia has got more rates. Sonia. Well, thanks a lot for that. So uh, let's kick it off with uh, some of the big movers, right? We have the paint companies that will definitely be in focus. Grassim, let's take a look at that. 2% uh, higher as it launches itself into the paint sector. But important to note what the other incumbent players are doing, whether it is Asian paints, there could be sentiment downtick on Berger paints, Kansai, Nerolak, some of the smaller guys. But I think Asian paints is the one that could bear the biggest brunt, so down almost about 1.5%. Berger paints down almost about one odd percent as well. Now, banks are in focus. Yesterday, there was large delivery-based buying in a lot of the private sector banks. Look at that. Axis Bank is up about one percent. HDFC Bank, ICICI Bank, all of these banks saw good delivery-based buying. Uh, SBI also had delivery-based buying yesterday, so that continues to see traction over there. The other big sector to watch this morning is the space sector because the uh, government has now allowed 100% FDI in the space sector. So, a lot of stocks. Walchan Nagar is up 2.5%. MTAR Tech, Data Patterns, Apollo Microsystems, Bharat Electronics, Scient, DLM. So, Apollo Microsystems is up. MTAR Tech is up about 5%. BEL is up 1.5%. Scient, DLM should also come up for you on the screen. Now, remember, a lot of these stocks have rallied substantially and it's not as simplistic as, you know, 100% FDI coming in immediately. It's just sentiment up move at the moment. But uh, keep an eye out on these stocks. Apart from that, let's take a look at some brokerage reactions as well. Uh, Paytm, look at that, 3% lower. Goldman Sachs has cut their target price to 450 from 860 earlier. I mean, it's still above the current market price. And some say that Goldman Sachs is a little late in the day to cut target price. But be that as it may, Paytm down 3.5% responding to that negative uh, brokerage report. ABB, after the 10% up move yesterday, there's an additional 3.5% up move today. Jefferies has hiked their target price to 6,115 well above the current market price. They say order flow is very strong, so ABB is one of the big stocks in focus. Apart from that, South Indian Bank, there could be a rights issue coming, so keep an eye out on that. NBCC has gotten the nod to develop five Amrapali projects worth 1,000 crores, so 5% uptick there. Home First Finance, the IRDAI, has granted a com composite license for soliciting life, general and health insurance. So, Home First Finance is up about 3 odd percent. And sugar stocks finally in focus as well as the cabinet has hiked the sugar FRP or the free remunerative price. So, keep an eye out on many of these names. We were expecting them uh, to be in the red and they have played out. Now, for the market overall, uh, absolutely quiet. Just buying time around the 22,000 mark. It's definitely uh, a day of individual stocks. Back to you. Well, that's right. You know, and the big name coming into the paint uh, industry, as we have been mentioning, Berger Paints is down close to around 2%, maybe feeling the heat a little bit, uh, though, you know, this announcement was made quite a while back. A couple of stocks I did see a lot of selling it towards the end of trade. They are bouncing back. Hindustan Copper is up close to around 3%. Keep in mind, the stock corrected close to around 50 rupees or around 15, 16% from the recent peak. That one's up close to around 3% uh, as we speak. Another couple of notable movers, Sula Vinyats. The Maharashtra government has notified extension of wine industrial promotion scheme for around eight years. That explains why that stock, one of the top movers today, up close to around 3%. Sale as well comes out of the band, the FNO band that it was in. So that explains why that stock had opened up with the green tick. You have Irda as well as Hutko, both of them top volume movers today. Both of them up, I think, close to around 2%. And Geo Financial Services, just take a look at that name, on its way to around 300 rupees. Big move is what you've seen in the last month or so. Big move out there. I think it's up close to around 15, 16% from the recent lows. Prashant, what else? Okay, so a quiet start, right? At least as far as the index is concerned. Just a, a three point uh, change, so. You know, flattish, absolutely flattish, nothing. Uh, you know, just a few other names, right? Uh, Sula, I think we just mentioned, two and a half higher. NBCC, uh, there's news there. Irda and ABB. ABB is up another 3%. A lot of brokers sort of uh, saying that we'll go slow. And uh, stocks are up and valuations are rich, etc. But 10% uh, and another 3 this morning. Uh, we've got uh, Campus, which uh, saw a sharp move yesterday, four and a half there. MTAR Tech is up six and a half. Brigade is up three. Uh, Hindustan Copper is up three. That's coming up uh, with uh, with some gains this morning. So 250, 253 or so. Mishra Dhatu, Midhani is up about 4%. There is HEG, which is up about 4.5%, nearly 1,700 on HEG at this point. 
And there is Graphite India, which is up about 3.5% as well. Nelco is coming up with a big 7% pop. Uh, so that's, uh, what, 810 on Nelco. And there is Home First. Uh, there's news there uh, from on the insurance side. Uh, that is coming up with a sharp 2, 2.5% two gain as well. So, you know, that's essentially what's uh, showing up on, on the gaining list. Uh, Paytm, I mean, you know, basically uh, had a four days of 5% gains, right? A limit up, so uh, it's down a little bit, but the, it's a top traded loser, top volume led loser. Tourism Finance Corporation had a big move yesterday. There was a block deal, I think, day before. Uh, NHPC is coming up with a 2.5% cut. Asian, so Berger Asian Pains are, of course, uh, the uh, losers, there's news there with a the large competitor's brand getting launched. Hindus, Bajaj Hindustan is down 3.5. Balrampur is down 1.5. you got uh, Renuka, which is down 1.5. So lots of sugar names coming up as well. FRP and Kane has gone up, which means that it necessitates an increase in sugar prices as well. Uh, so that's uh, news flow. 10 points on the Nifty, all told, with about 5 minutes of market open behind us. Ashwini Agarwal.